Hello everyone and welcome in this video. In this video uh, I would like to share uh, with you some information about junk silver uh, or constitutional silver, uh, silver that uh, contains less than 99% uh, of silver and the latest pieces I've decided to buy uh, to my junk silver stack. So what is junk silver? So, so the junk silver is just the expression used by collectors and stackers described uh, the silver coin that has limited value as an investment coin and, and it's got no value uh, as numismatic piece. Uh, the junk silver coins are ultimately more valuable as a scrap um, than as a collectible item. So obviously depends on, on the year. If your coin is from 15th, 16th century in really good condition, obviously it will be worth more. Um, they will often have 90% uh, uh, of silver content, 900 finances, pure silver content or less. Uh, the term, however, refers to its uh, value rather than condition. So the junk means low value because of the low content silver and not that doesn't mean it, it's the it's junk means like the coin being damaged so uh, i have a here i have a 50 shillings from austria it's the 20 gram silver 90 percent uh, the purity of silver so it's the older brother of um of the Austrian Philharmonic, you've probably seen those coins. Uh, similar design, but less less silver. Here's uh, another fifty shillings with a different design. This one from nineteen sixty six, and I have a uh, two and a half shillings from uh, South Africa. You can see this coin is is quite bad condition it's quite damaged um it weighs about 15 16 grams and this one has content of uh, 80 percent of silver so the the junk uh the junk uh, term is being originated uh, with u.s collectors but it has traveled uh, it has traveled across to Europe and other countries in recent years and it's commonly used in the US due to nations uh, large quantities of 90% silver coins so America's got like silver dollars dimes and, and quarters and they are uh, classed as junk silver and this is because uh, for 175 years in America uh, until 1965, it was legally required for all US silver coins to be at least 90% uh, of silver purity. So in UK, the coins produced between 1920 and 1947 uh, were struck only in uh, 500 purity, so I had only 50% of silver. Uh, you also have uh, the UK standard uh, for sterling silver, which has got 92.5%. So mainly classes 925s, nine, nine which is used in jewellery or, or other silver items. But they're usually uh, above the general accepted uh, quality threshold. So from, nine, uh, from 1990, Canada uh, began striking their own currency in 800 fine 80 percent but then later it was debased uh, to only 500 so as you can see the the coins are very uh, in their purity so each country produced their coins uh, from different uh, content of silver uh, usually older coins uh, will be 90 percent and then uh, the metal 
content, the silver content uh, in the coin has been uh, reduced. Um, and the different materials has been used like copper or nickel or, 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 or even aluminium or steel. So these coins got no, uh, no value whatsoever. Um, so as you can see, uh, I quite like those uh, 50 shillings. They look quite, quite good. This one uh, specifically is in uh, a very nice condition. Very nice coin. It's got engraving on the on the rim as well. Um, th they weigh 20 grams. So uh, nice coins. So uh, that's the the first sort of junk silver I've I've added to to my collection. Uh, hopefully we'll get some more nice coins. Uh, the American uh, uh, silver junk coins are seems to be very expensive at the moment. They uh, as the silver is in demand. Uh, even even 90% silver coins are expensive. So so yeah, so look out for the deals and buy some nice junk silver coins guys. Stay tuned till the next video. Take care.